Hey guys, RJ here, and this is Red Premier League number 19. As you can see, the title I've chose for this video is Kickstart, and the reason for that is because we actually kickstarted a new season. Um, last season, we managed to finish 7th in the Empo League 1, which is a really respectable place for a team that's only just come up. And this season, I've decided to set myself the challenge to not only... Um, win promotion um, by hopefully winning the league but also to win the Johnson's Paint Trophy. If I can get promotion then that will be my last opportunity of actually winning it this season because it's only available for League 2 and League 1 teams. Um, so in this video um, you won't actually see any um, games of the season yet. You'll see a couple of pre-season friendlies, some transfers that we make, some setup. It's mainly just setting up for the season, um, setting up for the videos that are going to come. And this is a relatively... Um, short video I would say in it's only about four minutes long but I decided to do this as I didn't do this for the other two seasons of showing you what's the thing I do how I set up for the season and one of the first things I do at the start of every season is look for free agents um the main reason for this is just because it's an easy way of signing players who are very good players who might have just come out of the contract like the two players that you see here I know you only see me put in for an offer for one of them but I do end up signing both of them it's just that for the um the wage for the one player, the second player, as you can see there, is 5,000. And I had a bit of trouble with in the last season with wages and players demanding higher wages because we was becoming a better team and everything. And I wasn't sure whether I wanted to commit to that much wage budget with already a couple of people in my team being on that much wage. But I actually did do that. And I was helped along by the sale of Wright there. Um, he was an experienced player of the squad and quite valuable to the squad, but he wasn't really performing like I wanted him to. And I'd kind of been leaning towards youth towards the end of last season and there wasn't really a place for him in my team and another thing like I said I was leaning towards youth is I do set up another scouting system every season I've done this so far set up a scouting system first season it was in England then it was in America now I'm doing Portugal this season I flicked through to see what kind of players I wanted or if I wanted to specify certain players but I decided not to limit myself and I decided to do not limit myself on time either and it yeah, actually is going to stay out there for nine months and I was actually really positive where the team started. Um, for the pre-season friendlies, we performed quite well. We come up against some strong um, uh, opposition. We come up against Raul Betis, Karn, I think you pronounce their name, the ones that Podolski play for. If you know that, if you know who they are, I'm sorry about the pronunciation. And we come up against Hearts. All three teams who I would say are a lot better than us. And, but all three teams, I think we put up a really good fight. And the first two games, as you can see there, we actually lost by only one goal, which was really promising, saying a good team so was. But against Hearts, we actually picked up the win. And not only the win, but we really dominated them. And it was actually a really good game. Um, new players, uh, such as Kitambala, I think you pronounce his name, which is going to be another fun one to pronounce throughout the series. And Gakpa, which is, again, another good name to pronounce, um, actually played really well in this game to pick us up the win. And that was actually showing quite promising for the start of the season. And like I said, I was really happy with the team. And that kind of brought me on to the team I decided to play for the first league game of the season. And as you can see now on the screen, this is probably from now going to be my first team team you know what i'm saying all right um it's kind of got a mix of new players and old players and combining people and everything but that's how it's going to start for the first game of the season make sure to tune in next episode guys to see that game and to see more of shrewsbury town and road to premier league thanks for watching as always guys peace